What's up, everybody? Please excuse the microphone. I am testing something. I actually got this microphone years ago because me and my sister started a little podcast that we did for a little bit. We never aired it just because we were embarrassed. Um, but I was just sitting in my office and I was trying to film a video for you guys and it was super echoey. And this was sitting right next to me and I thought, hmm, let me give it a go. Let's see if the sound is nice. Let's see, you know, whatever. And maybe when I do more of these sit down videos, I will do it with the microphone. So let me know what you guys think about the sound and yeah, but I wanted to chat with you guys. It does feel kind of weird. Um, doing this with the microphone <laughs> feels a little less, uh, just, I don't know, maybe authentic, but I'll get past it. Um, but I did want to talk to you guys because I went on another two mile walk today. If you saw my video yesterday, um, I basically posted that I went on a two mile walk and I was so proud of myself and like, I couldn't believe that I was able to achieve that. And I, you know, wanted to know what you guys carried for protection. And it was nice to hear back from you guys of what you carry. And it gave me some ideas and things like that. Um, so today I wanted to go on the two mile walk again. It is currently 531 and I am already at 10,280 steps. So I am technically done for the day. Another day checked off, which is amazing. I hope everybody's doing well on their, uh, you know, challenge. If you guys are joining Katie and a bunch of other people on this, um, August walking challenge, but I wanted to come on here because I had my husband come with me this time. And as a lot of you guys know, my husband is also on a weight loss journey alongside me. He's down about 70 pounds. I'm down about 75 as of this morning. And him and I go on walks together. We go on walks together throughout the neighborhood. Sometimes we'll go drive over to the pond that I've showed you guys and do a loop. And um, usually those walks are about under a mile. I would say, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes at max. Um, but we haven't gone on like a long walk. Um, and I know to most two miles might not be considered a long walk, but to someone who only, you know, almost seven months ago was over 300 pounds. Um, and then my husband who was, um, extremely overweight. Um, that's a lot, that's a lot of walking. And I am someone who during the day does not, or used to not move super often. My husband does HVAC. So he's constantly moving constantly up and down stairs outside in attics, you know, all that stuff. So he's used to moving. Um, whereas me, I'm a nanny. So a lot of the times I am stationary on the floor or sitting at a park or, you know, just whatever. And so I, you know, throughout this process have been so excited that my body is like allowing me to move easily and do these things easily. And although my husband is used to moving a lot during the day, the want to move is different than needing to move. So a lot of the times on the weekends, you know, he just likes to relax, which a hundred percent he deserves to because he works his literal ass off. Um, but I really wanted to go on this two mile walk with him today. And I felt a little guilty because we didn't take our dog. We took him for a nice walk this morning, but this type of walk and the time of day that we went, it just would have been too much for him. He's 10. So um, I don't like to push him farther than he can go and especially with the heat and everything. So I asked my husband to come and at first he was super hesitant about it. Um, you know, well, how far did you go yesterday? I said two miles. He goes, oh, wow, well, that's far. And how long did it take you? I said about 45 minutes. He said, oof, that's a lot. And I said, I know, but you can do it. Like if I can do it, you can do it. You move all day long. And while we were on our walk, I kept checking in with him. Um, I did post a video on TikTok of our like walk and everything um, in real time. If you guys want to go over and check that out, it'll be in the description. Um, but I kept checking in with him like, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Do you feel like this is easier, or harder than you thought? Um, and we had a really good conversation on that walk about how it's so crazy how we both lost such a significant amount of weight. And yet our minds still tell us that there are things we can't do. Like yesterday when I was on my walk, I got to the point of my um, neighborhood where I could either continue on in my neighborhood or, you know, branch off and go the way that I went yesterday. And 
I had that split second thought of, but what if I can't do it? What if I get halfway through and I can't go any farther? And yesterday it was easy for me to say, but that's okay because my husband's home and I'll just have him come and pick me up if I really, really, really can't do this. And then I proved to myself that I could do it. And so today when we were walking, you know, there was no one that we could have called. Like my husband had the same thought process as me of, wow, that's far. Wow, that's going to be hard. Wow, that's this. Like, you know, what if we get far, you know, we're both walking. We have no one to call to come pick us up if this gets too difficult. And I would say more than halfway through our walk, we both kind of just looked at each other and we were like, can you believe that we're doing this? Like 75 pound Trisha or 75 pounds ago, Trisha and 70 pounds ago, Tim couldn't even make it halfway down the street. And yet here we are walking together midday, 90 degrees out, sweating our asses off, but able to do it. Not in any pain, not out of breath, not wishing this would end. Um, just enjoying each other's company, laughing, listening to music, talking about life and walking a path that we've lived around for four years and have never been able to go outside and explore because our bodies never allowed us to. And it just got us talking about how, even though you lose all of this weight, you still, your mind still does not think that you can do things and we were talking about how until your mind realizes hey my body can do this it will always feel scary until you do it and you know they always say taking the first step is the hardest part and in this case literally taking that first step was the scary part not actually doing it It was the fear of, I don't think I can do this because in reality, 70 and 75 pounds ago, we absolutely could not have done it, but we are not those people anymore. Our body is not the same anymore. And it was so interesting and so nice to have that realization together that like we can do this. Our new bodies can do this and it feels good to do this. And it just made me think like how many other things am I not doing subconsciously, like not even, you know, realizing it because my body, my mind still does not realize that my body is capable of doing these things now. And so it really just put things like into perspective for me that like, until you try something, you don't know if you can do it. And there are so many things that I want to do. Like I want to go on a jet ski. I want to try Pilates. I want to, you know, all of these different things that I've never allowed myself to do before because of my weight, either because I couldn't physically do it. I wasn't small enough to do it. I, I was embarrassed to do it. Um, and I just feel I can do anything now. And obviously, I know I'm only down to 230 and I still have a very long way to go. And there still are going to be limitations, excuse me, of things that I can't do at this weight. And I'm okay with that because what I can do at this weight is like more than enough for me right now. And it was just very eye opening on that walk how both of us were like, wow, like we are actually doing this. We can actually do this and we feel okay and we feel good. And I, I think I could probably go another mile. I could probably, I know I could definitely go at least another half of a mile. And that's just crazy to me that I'm able to walk and not dread every single step and not continuously look at my watch to see, okay, when is this going to be over? How much farther do I have to go? No, I'm looking at my watch to see how far I've gone. I'm looking at my watch to see what my time is, how many steps I've done. Like I'm looking at my watch out of pride instead of out of fear. And like that to me is amazing and crazy and exciting. 
And it just felt really great to be able to experience that with my husband. So I, the whole reason of coming on here was because I wanted you guys to kind of think about that question too. Like what is my mind still telling me I probably can't do that I haven't tried yet since I've lost so much weight? Because I guarantee you, your body is capable of doing so much more than your mind is giving it credit to doing because your mind hasn't caught up to your body yet. At least mine hasn't. (laughs) Um, And you're never going to know if you can do that thing until you try. So I encourage you guys to try something that you're scared of, something that you haven't been able to do in the past, something that's, you know, hard and check back in and If you're able to do it, that's amazing. If you're still unable to do it, know that that's okay. And there will come a point where you will be able to do it. And if there ever comes a point where it's something that you can never do, then at least you tried. And I think we all deserve to feel how me and Tim felt today and how I felt yesterday after the walk, which is proud of ourselves. And I'm glad you guys are here for me to share it all with you. And I'll see you tomorrow, probably in my car. (laughs) Happy Sunday.